In this video, I will talk about how to run matrix operation in Python using NumPy for absolute beginners. This includes how to add, subtract, multiply matrices. We can also talk about how to calculate inverse matrix and element-wise operation and transpose matrix. I will start talking about matrix addition, subtraction, scalar matrix multiplications, element-wise matrix operation followed by transpose matrix. You can find the timestamps next to each topic and please feel free to skip around to find what you need. Consider the same size of matrices A and B. If you want to add matrices A and B, you can use plus sign between A and B in Python. Similarly, you can use minus sign between A and B if you want to subtract matrix B from A. Remember, the size of matrices A and B must be the same to add or subtract. Otherwise, it will give you an error message. The resulting matrix size is the same size of matrix A or B. Consider given two matrices A and B. I will show you how to add those matrices and save the result in new matrix C. First, we need to import NumPy as MP to use a matrix operation functionality in NumPy. Then you need to create the matrices A and B by using NumPy array function. You can print matrices A and B. To create matrix C by adding matrix A to matrix B, you can type C equals sign followed by A plus B. Then you can print C. The resulting matrix can be shown using print C. The element in the matrix C are element-wise addition between matrices A and B. What if you want to subtract matrix B from matrix A? Similar to matrix addition, you can simply type C equals sign followed by A minus B. The resulting matrix C is shown below. Again, the element in matrix C are element-wise subtraction between matrices A and B. What if you want to add two matrices A and B having different size? For example, 2x2 two two matrix A plus 3x3 three three matrix B. We can create a 2x2 two two matrix A followed by creating 3x3 three three matrix B. Then you can create a matrix C by adding two matrices. When you add two matrices, you can see the error message saying that the matrix size does not match for matrix addition. So to add the matrices, make sure that you have a same size of matrices. For scalar multiplication, consider scalar quantity lambda and matrix A. The scalar multiplication is element-wise multiplication of scalar quantity lambda. You can simply use lambda star sign and matrix A. Consider given 2x2 two two matrix A. 2 by A means it needs to double all the elements in matrix A using scalar multiplication. To calculate 2A, you can use C equals sign 2 star followed by A. You can see the doubled elements in matrix A. For matrix multiplication, consider matrices A and B. Similarly, you can use star sign between two matrices. However, in order to multiply two matrices, the column size of matrix A must be the same as the row size of matrix B. Otherwise, it will give you an error message. Let me elaborate how to check the matrix multiplication conformity. Consider M by M matrix A and P by Q matrix B. To check the conformity, you can lay out four numbers for size of matrix A and B in series. In this case, we have N, M, P, and Q. If the matrices A and B are conformable, M must be the same as P. The size of resulting matrix is M by Q. Consider two matrices A and B. What is the matrix multiplication of AB? To calculate the matrix multiplication, we need to create matrices A and B. Then multiply them by using built-in function numpy matmol. Matmol function stands for matrix multiplication. It requires two matrices as input, and you can see the result below. Question comes, what about B times A? Also, is a BA the same as AB? Let's find out. BA can be calculated using B star sign A. BA can be calculated using numpy matmol as well. The result is different from the one for A times B as expected, so the answer is no. What if you have 2x2 two two matrix A and 2x3 two matrix B and want to calculate matrix multiplication? First of all, is it possible to calculate? The answer is yes. 
and the column size of matrix A is 2, which is the same as the row size of matrix B. In Jupyter Notebook, you can create a new matrix B and calculate the matrix multiplication as a C equal to numpy matmul A comma B. Then you can see the result. What about given matrices A and B? Since the column size of A is different from the row size of B, you cannot multiply. Let's see what happened in Jupyter Notebook. As expected, it ends up with showing error saying inner matrix dimensions must agree. Consider we have 2x2 two two matrix A. To calculate the inverse matrix of A, we can use the built-in function numpy linear algebra inverse, followed by the matrix name, which is A. You can create the given matrix A, then you can simply type numpy linear algebra inverse, followed by A. Now you can see the inverse matrix of A. To confirm this is true inverse of A, you can multiply it by A to have identity matrix. Either A by inverse A, or inverse A by A. We consider a 1 by 3 row vector A, and we would like to square all the elements to create 1 by 3 row vector C. To do this, you can type C equal sign followed by A star sign A. Then you can see the element Y squared. Alternatively, you can type C equals sign followed by A to star signs A to see the same result. We have two row vectors A and B, and we would like to create a new row vector C by having element by element division. For example, the first element of C, 1 half comes from 1 divided by 2, and the second element minus 1 comes from minus 1 divided by 1. The third one is related to 2 divided by minus 1. To create the row vector C, you can create two row vectors A and B, then you can type C equals A slash B to see what you're looking for. Consider a row vector A. If you want to transpose vector A by swapping the row and column indices, you can use the built-in function numpy transpose function. You can first create the row vector A by using numpy array. Transpose the row vector A, make sure that you use the double square brackets for 1 by n matrix. Otherwise, it will give you an error. Then you can transpose it using numpy transpose followed by A as expected. Thanks for watching this video until the end, and please subscribe my channel if you want to continue to watch tutorial videos in science, technology, engineering, and math. Please give thumbs up if you enjoyed. Please feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section down below. See you next time.